Yeah, no, you ain't no psycho You're not like the others, no No changing behaviors Not sure how to act around you So colorful and bright Welcome, welcome, welcome guys to another <laughs> Another banger Welcome back to the Black Beauty TV And thank you for understanding me For those of you are for always coming back here to watch me Yeah! Thank you and God bless you all, guys. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you. Wodo, 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 wodo. I always say that my lazy gang members, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for bringing me to this particular place we are now. So, guys, without wasting of your, much of your time, mm -hmm. <laughs> Lambruski, Lambrusco. Fire burn them every time and every day. Yesterday, after my video, I saw. Honestly speaking, uh, speak guys, I don't have anything against. If I always say, if you take this reaction <laughs> personally, you are your own. <laughs> it's not you and me. So after my video, I went to check to dig and I check. Hey, I know a lot of you might know. It might not be a story, but for me, it's something new. I never knew that this kino. In Jamaica, you are seeing up and down with the mango. <laughs> you know what, guys? One thing is that I like it when people are hypocrites and they turn around. That is when I like to hammer them. Kino that you see like this, like a boy. Kino is not a boy. Guys, Kino is even maybe past our age. Oh. Maybe he's in our elderly age. Oh. When you see Kino like this, the bodies like this, you think Kino is a baby. Hey! Story have entered the carbon, guys. This guy is a married man. This guy, you know, they always deceive us that he have a fiance, he have a girlfriend, he have a what? Guys, let me tell you, let me announce to you guys today that in fact, we, I don't want, I never wanted to start it here. Anyway, we will still come. It's just an introduction of the video. So, Kino life in Jamaica. <laughs> Agama Lisa Dimwango is also a homebreaker. Crying, in fact, let me leave that side because this is not the video I ever wanted to start. And then we are going to continue the series of Lola in the Philippines. Never ending saga because we start, we always start to, you know, sometimes if we do, do video, do video, do video, when you deliver the video, after the video, you come and be discovering things. And then some of your lazy members will also say, hey, Black Beauty TV, didn't you see this place? I say, okay, I will come back to analyze it. So we are analyzing Lola, Lola, the Philippines, all, in fact, she's not even old, but a lady in the Philippines that Dimwango used to make money on YouTube. So yesterday I made this video of Mr. JB. <laughs> Where JP and Africa Tigress. I made that video yesterday. Guys, if you have not watched that video, please kindly go and watch that video of uh, my Woto Woto of yesterday, where African Tigress was talking about how Dimwango was maltreating this woman in the Philippines. Guys, it's a shame. Oh. The thing, the thing is ginger in my heart. If it is my mother, hey, I got my lizard waiting now for do to you. This is somebody's mother because of poverty. This girl treated this woman badly. And then this JB, in that his video, JB said that, oh, he left, JB said he left Dimwango because of what Dimwango was doing to Lola. That is what, see me, I don't like hypocrisy. I, you know me, I don't just watch video. I have nothing against JB, I have nothing. I'm just doing reaction. You understand? So I need to analyze my videos for you guys to understand. Anybody that want to understand, should understand though. But I just want to analyze these videos in my own understanding. According to this guy, he left this girl because of what she was doing to Lola. But it's a lie. What I go, guys, is a lie. Because he did not leave immediately after in the Philippines. He left after he squandered her money. She, they went for expensive vacation in Thailand. After the, that vacation, already Dimwango has already treated Lola badly. But JB lied that he left Dimwango because of that. 
If JB wants to be free, me I always tell him, he must bring all those things so that he will be a free man. You see? If not, he's a partner in crime. So now JB said he left is a lie. JB went ahead, started traveling with Agama Lizard. Anyway, guys, you know, we say we always use their word and we remind them of the past. We always come to remind them of the past. So for that, I want us to go and watch this clip. And then we will come back and continue the water with the Hey, the one go homebreaker. Hey, the one go went to Jamaica. No wonder, guys. You see that woman that was very angry with Miss Trudy that African Nigerian men and uh, women they used to take some. That is what the Mwango was doing too. You are crying for another woman's husband. Not only one child, this guy. This guy have children, not one, about four children. This Kino boy is having. And you see him. Even the daughter of Kino is more than 40 years old now. <laughs> La Bruski, La Broska, I know that JB. This is the woman that told us that she never want anything to do with elderly people. Eh, hey, is Kino not in our In fact, Kino, the children of Kino are even older than my children. Can you imagine, people? Anyway, we are not yet to talk about. We are coming to that part. For now, let us go and watch the clip from this gigolo man. I call him gigolo. Anyway, let's go before I will start talk without stopping. Hi, guys. Good morning. I'm JB Bunai from Philippines. And hope you're all doing well well welcome and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos in case you're new here welcome or sawadika my name is d mwango from kenya in africa together with my boyfriend from philippines although you found philippines guys and welcome to pataya pataya thailand yeah in thailand it's uh one of the most visited places in thailand and we're so glad to be here so guys it's early morning we already took our breakfast and we're ready to step out we want to check out how pattaya looks like my name is Dee mwango from kenya in africa together with my travel buddy <laughs> hi i'm jb bunait from the philippines yeah and guys please be sure to subscribe to our youtube channels and don't forget to subscribe to our couple channel D, D and JB, JB Adventures. Adventures. It's Mahal, babe. Mm. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> oh. My babe always wants to be babied around. <laughs> Come and eat. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good night. I will eat on your behalf, okay? Eh? I've cooked Kang Kong. Mahal, if you say it's done, it must be served. There's a plate there, then I'll go there then to eat only. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you see how JB is bossy. I work for 24 hours, then I must be eat. Eh? Eh. Hey, Guys, this is the real JB. Baby bossy. Eh? <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> you want to eat me? Surely. Food is ready, guys. Looks so good. Okay, babe, let me serve you. Okay, please. Rice and I wanna put some veg. Where are we going? Babe to on the other side because it can fall down. Wow. Wait. Guys, I'm so lucky to have a girlfriend like her. She's uh she's everything. Aww. She knows everything. Thank you, babe. Yeah. The food is ready. How about you, my <laughs> Guys, look what my babe wants to serve me. Can you all <laughs> all see? What? <laughs> okay, guys. Or I put the. Just put everything together. Thank you, babe. No choice. Oh, no choice. Of course. 
No choice in this. Eh, eh, oh, that chicken. Hello, my beautiful followers around the world. Just to let you guys know, I love you. Um, and I'm here cooking a nice juicy pepper soup. To all my beautiful fans and followers, you know I love to cook. Let me show you guys my food. Come on and check my soup out. And let's eat this wonderful soup. You know I love you guys, you know, and I always do. Thank you. Say the truth. You were busy, Dimango, buying clothes for you. You were dressing and dancing like a woman. <laughs> Carrying back of Dimango up and down in the Philippines, in, in Thailand. You were carrying handbag like, like I don't even know what to call you a, a, a boy boy. And you said that you left her. You lied. You didn't leave her when she was treating Lola bad. She was treating Lola bad and you say nothing that she treated your Filipino grandmother like this. And she will come online to tell people that she never had a grandmother. And when I remember these things, I said, guys, why are people so wicked in this world? She said, oh, I never had a grandmother. And I got a grandmother in the Philippines. JB said Dimango treated this woman, not only JB, Africa tea. You treated Lola, the woman in the Philippines, you call your grandmother. You treated this woman very, very bad. And JB was looking at you. And he has, he, you left with the money that was meant for this elderly woman. You left with the money to furnish your mother's house. Buy a new kitchen for your mother. Buy, furnish the whole of the city room in your home with Lola's money. And so people, in fact, fire burn you all. If anybody that type nonsense in my channel, fire burn you ten times to ashes. And it's a prayer. I'm telling you because I didn't look for you to come and type in your channel nonsense. If you type nonsense here, fire burn you. Scammers must be exposed. People must know them. After scamming a Jamaican man from her country that came to the motherland. She can scam him and run to the Philippines with his money. Pay her trips. 
all over Asia. And then she blew in the Philippines with an elderly woman. With the help of a rondante that was busy sending her. During the GoFundMe now, she turned around to insult him the Molowe in Lagos. If you don't know Molowe, go on Google and type Molowe in Nigeria. They will show you what Molowe is. What I go? JB is a liar. JB lied. After going back that Dimwango went to do that to spend the money, what happened? Plan to pay JB trip. Go for expensive things. Trip to Thailand. Buying clothes for JB. JB was doing like a baby. Mahal, mahal. And you come to deceive us that you left her when she treated Lola bad. Why did you have to travel with her if really you are genuine man? If you are genuine, why you saw her? And you saw her character. And you go ahead. That's why I said you also wanted the money. You saw the money she was stealing in the Philippines. On top of this woman. And you wanted that part of the money. That's why you carry your bags. You were dressing very well. You were dancing with the ass. Like a shower, like a, a, a rainbow man. All over TikTok. Because a, a sugar mommy from Africa has come. Me, I don't have anything against you, JB. I only have problem when somebody comes like this to lie. Oh, you left her. You have a lot of evidence about this woman. Where are the evidence? Maybe she also have evidence against you. That is why you cannot bring those evidence out. You always say, oh, I will bring next time. Which next time? After she has finished you. You know, you people should be doing things in the right way so that you don't get it water water in my carbon. I hate hypocrites. You joined him one go to enjoy the money. You wanted the money. You were following her like a fool. Left your home and follow her to Thailand. After you stay some days, you know deeply within you that you never fall in love with her. You fell in love with the money. A woman for that. I know that, yes, you gave her a lot of views. But you don't come online and be pretending to us and be saying, it's the God, it's the way they train you at home not to do. No, did they train you at home to follow a woman? And you don't, you leave your job. Is that how they train you? To leave your job and follow a woman. That's what you are a gigolo. Gigolo today, gigolo tomorrow, and gigolo mahal forever. Gigolo master. Anyway, guys, it is what it is. Let us go and enter this, our Jamaican people. <laughs> Lambruski, Lambruska, guys. With my full chest, I'm telling you guys, Kino Life in Jamaica have a child that is now 17. Yeah, more than 16. He's 17 years old now. And then the Mongo come here to tell us that she don't like elderly people. Hey, I thought I have seen it all. If somebody could tell me this thing, I thought I'm dreaming. No wonder Kino in Jamaica was respecting himself. He never wanted the, you know, he was just building his channel. But this girl, make sure. I asked myself, so Kino, you are a father, a husband, and you leave your family anyway. I don't blame you. Your wife will support you because you know what? <laughs> your wife is going to support you bastardly because you were making the money on YouTube with Dimwango. You can check on his video. The, the two videos he posted without Dimwango. Go and check the views. And come and tell me the Black Beauty TV. You, you don't know what you have entered, you know. You have destroyed your reputation with this girl. You're, see, if somebody thinks he's pursuing somebody, something, eh, you are pursuing the wrong thing. Now, Dim Wango wrote that she's not leaving Kino. She's coming back very soon in Jamaica to come and meet Kino. Meet who fire born you there. Homebreaker. Kino is a father of many children. Guys, I will put them. In fact, I will put them here. You will see it. This guy is not a small child. This guy has his family. And this is what Dimango claiming, crying crocodile tears. Oh, you are coming back to meet Kino. 
You are coming back to divide a family with father, children, and the mother. You are coming back to Jamaica to destroy them more and more. This kino with a wife and children will carry. I don't want to know how old he started giving birth to children, but his first daughter is 17 years. Next year, the daughter is 18, adult. And this is the girl that will sit down and tell us that we are elderly people. My son is eight years old. Hey, hey, Kino, hey, Odogu, and you pretend dead like this, like you are a single man. Anyway, they say you have a fiancé, but Kino, you don't only have a fiancé, you have a wife. Guys, let me put this picture for you guys to see. You know, when I got these pictures, I was saying, no, maybe it's not true. Maybe it's a lie. Only for me to see this Kino. Celebrating in 2000 and what? 2014, I think, because I'm not looking at the video, the pictures now. That is when this Kino was celebrating Father's Day. The next one, Kino was celebrating the daughter, celebrating eight years in 2014 or 2015. That, that time, in I think April or so, if I'm not mistaken, please pardon me, but I'll put them here. He was celebrating the daughter turned eight years old. Guys, this Kino you are seeing. Eight years old, the daughter turned in 2015. And I gave birth to my son in July. <laughs> in June, in June. My daughter is July, my son is June. I say, one that shall never end. Whoever thought in your, all of you that you're watching me, have you ever seen, have you ever thought that? This is, this is it. And this girl remained like this in Jamaica. Carry another woman's husband. And be going around. Do I blame her? I don't blame her. In fact, I don't blame her. Since she stole uh, from Jam Tour, this is how misfortune, misfortune has been following her. After stealing for Jam, Jam Tour, he went to the Philippines. The gigolo man in the Philippines used her, collected what belongs to him, and he left. Now she went to Jamaica, feeling it like she has seen a man. You know, see, guys, let me tell you the truth. Kino has been knocking Dimwango. There is no how you will say that boy has not been knocking Dimwango. Look at how this guy was doing everywhere. This girl is going in Jamaica. This guy is carrying this girl up and down. Who ever knew that this guy will have children? In fact, I didn't even post all the, the, the pictures because I don't have time. This guy, some, this guy, Kino, I'm telling you, three or four children, Kino is having, he's not having only two children, three or four children, this guy, Kino, is having. And then he left his family like this and be following this Dimwango. In the other hand, he's looking for money for them. <laughs> he's looking for money for them, but at the same time, which woman will allow his man to be following another woman just because of YouTube like this? Obviously, he was using this girl bastardly. Because if you watch this Agama Lizard, she always fall in love with the wrong man. <laughs> eh, well, that is how you see this Kino. He just washes his hand like this from Agama Lizard. He washes. In fact, she's the one crying and following Kino. Kino has shown that he got no interest. But she keep pushing him. Even posting, oh, she's not leaving him for final. She will surely come back crying. Fireborn, you crying for another homebreaker. Crying for another woman's husband. I told you don't want to have anything to do with black men. When did you start crying for black men? Hey, she has gone black. <laughs> she has tried a black man. Now she don't want to go back. We know you're calling on your brother. He's a muzungu. So you guys will need to go back. And find those muzungu. Because we saw in, even you see this kish my wall, I used to, in fact, I'm laughing at the boy. I don't know why these guys always think that it's only that the swarm that will make them rich. It's only that swarm that will bring money to them. You see this kish my wall, after what the mongo did to him in Jamaica, this guy still run. He even saying in Marwa's village, that he didn't even see his parents. He went straight to the swamp. I'm not going to put him here to even promote him. At the end of the day in the swamp, 
he's not getting any views. You see how God used to punish people. He thought when he goes there, when he travels straight from Sweden, he goes to the swamp. Money, money, money. Yesterday, the same thing I was looking at this video of the swamp master. That's why they will always have problem in their life. Where he titled the, the video, I think a woman came from, from the UK. He titled, The Rich Auntie is There. Why did they always, what did they know about richness, if I may ask? This swamp king said, oh, the, the rich auntie there. I begin to ask myself, I said, do they really know the meaning of being rich? No, they don't know. I've been talking about it every time. The sister will say, are you rich? You have money? Do you have Lamborghini? Why do you want to? And all of a sudden, king of the swamp, in the swamp, saying, oh, the rich auntie, my rich auntie has come. Where are your poor aunties that come to visit you? Where did you hide them? You hide them in your mother's house when they are poor aunties. Or they don't even, they are not even allowed to cross that your road and go to your house. You only associate your people with people that have money. Money is not richness. Let me tell you the truth. Richness, richness comes in different forms. Go back to school and learn or go back even to the street or go back to the school of living life and learn how the world functions. For you, richness is all about money. In what I go? Anyway. So guys, enough of all this. <laughs> the cocoa be said, the cocoa is that. Kino is not a single man. <laughs> Kino is a married man. So now guys, yesterday I told you guys that I want to do this video of this, our brother from Kenya. <laughs> Who want to marry Muzungu wife? <laughs> they will start accusing me now. No. Who want to marry a Muzungu? This is exactly what is going to happen to Marwa. <laughs> but his own, he might escape it because he invested in his uh, swam. <laughs> but for now, let us go and read this. Um, there's one post that Kenyan News also they posted about this, our brother. And then we'll watch his video and we'll give our own small, small talk and we'll go. I told you guys about him yesterday, but I wanted to relax before doing his video. So this is what they posted. And I watched the video. It's exactly what happened. They said, this legend went to the USA in 1987. <laughs> In 1987, who was born in that year? Guys, can you shout out if you are born in 1987? Shout out to you if you are born in 19... This man, hey, now really, really in our group, he, he went in 1987. Hey, he married a Muzungu woman. His monthly salary was more than... 3 million Kenyan shillings. He saved enough and when he was about to retire, he saved enough money. I watched his video, he even brought the mother, he brought the sister, he brought a lot of people from his family to the US. When he brought the mother, he brought the mother so that the mother would be taking care of the kids and the wife was the one who advised him to bring the mother so that the mother would be taking care of the kids. When the kids grew up, I'm just telling you what happened with this brother. When the kids grew up and the wife now saw that she don't need the service of his mother, she started treating the mother very, very bad, in a very bad manner. Let's continue. He said enough and when he, won, when he was about to retire, the Muzugu wife applied for a divorce. <laughs> Guys, it's exactly what happened. Yes, it's exactly what happened. The man lost everything. Is the truth, guys? They freeze all his account. And his son, according to his mouth, me, I heard it from his mouth. His son, the Muzungu son, the half Muzungu son that he had from this Muzungu wife, the son helped his mother. To get all the assets to the boy, the father trusted him. And the boy was going behind with the mother and collected everything from the father's laptop. I watched the video. So he lost everything. 
He is now in Kenya, ready to start again. Guys, can you imagine at this age to start all over from the beginning again? Hey, Jesus of Nazareth. In this life, the person you marry will significantly determine what you become in the future as a man. You might be bright, wise, hardworking, and rich, but you end up poor because of a woman or man you marry. When you are busy hustling in these countries, invest back home. Always remember your home is safer and best to invest. This guy was buying all those property in the USA. He even is the one that even trained, he asked this woman to go back to school. He paid the Muzungu school fees. As we know in the US, it's not like here in Germany that is it's free. They pay. This guy was working different jobs to make his, he was make, he was doing good in the US. As he's working, the Muzungu woman was squandering everything. Let us watch his clip and then we'll come back again. It's me, daughter of the soil. Guys, if you have not liked this video, kindly like the video and then salute the CEO. Mwatago, let's go and watch our brother from Kenya. In 1997, <laughs> I told her to go back to school. <laughs> um, she finally finished her um, uh, accounting degree. She got her accounting degree <laughs> and I paid for it. <laughs> so I was struggling. I was actually working two jobs. <laughs> I was working in the bank and then I was driving limousines. Right. So on weekends, I actually drove limousines the whole weekend. So mm -hmm. I had no time to rest. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm making all this money, but then she's blowing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And nothing I could have done. Sasa, your friends, your families, what is happening? Uh, Why are they not trying to advise? Let me tell you, in, um, I brought my one sister, mm -hmm. who is now in the UK. Mm -hmm. um, she saw it. Mm -hmm. She saw what was going on, but I told her to zip because uh, it could, you know, it could create a problem for me. Mm -hmm. In 2004, my father died, mm -hmm. and um, um, my son, my youngest son, was born the same, same year, mm -hmm. in July mm -hmm. uh, 2004. So the wife at the time told me, why don't you invite your mother to come and help us with the kids? So in 2004, so I made a visa application, invited our mother. Mm -hmm. So she's the one who was actually raising our two boys. And up until 2019. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So your sister now. So my sister, mm -hmm. the first sister who was in U U uh, U.S. Mm -hmm. the one I brought in U.S. Mm -hmm. actually went back mm -hmm. and then decided to go to U.K. Mm -hmm. with her husband. Mm -hmm. Then the second sister, I invited her to come over. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't even remember. It's like 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. She also came. Mm -hmm. She stayed with me for a little bit and my mother. Mm -hmm. um, and then after a while, then she she decided to find her own place. Mm -hmm. So they saw it. Mm -hmm. This is what was going on. Mm -hmm. But I told them, listen, you mm -hmm. see it, mm -hmm. you zip it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So what were you feeling then? Uh, what was happening now, I have my mother. Mm -hmm. um, I had to protect my mother. Mm -hmm. um, at the same token, uh, here's my sister. I'm trying to help them mm -hmm. without having to cause a commotion. Yes. Because I realized this is, I mean, total danger. Mm -hmm. Because this woman has started to react, mm -hmm. um, especially when my sister was staying there. Mm -hmm. uh, you could see the tension. Um, especially when my mother and my sister would sit down to talk. Mm -hmm. We were talking our language, the Ikuyu. Mm. Uh, she didn't like it. Mm. She thinks we were talking behind our back, yes. which was, you know, we would not. Mm. Um, then the in-laws came in, mm -hmm. uh, play. Mm -hmm. They actually went and built a house right walking distance from our house. Wow. That also became a problem. Mm. These people would wake up, you know, 6.30, I'm without a shirt having my coffee, and I'll see the garage door open. The door is open. They had a combination for the garage. That created even more problems for me. Mm. Yeah. It was, um, they took over the house. Mm -hmm. And I tried to talk to her. I said, listen, this is our house. We raised the children the way we want it, not the way your parents want it. Mm -hmm. um, it was the old man now. Mm. And um, the best thing my mother did is to just observe and never say anything. Mm. Uh, she never even got involved in our arguments. Mm. Yeah. Somehow they are angels. Eh, mm -hmm. uh, see angels. Mm. Uh, as a matter of fact, and as I will tell you later on, how mm -hmm. 
they ended, the marriage ended. Mm -hmm. uh, it was one of those things that they study you. Mm -hmm. And they see you have potential to make money. Mm -hmm. They will capitalize on it. Mm. And then they'll try to get everything. In my case, I lost everything. <laughs> wow. So now, Wakati Sonifanya, he bank. How much were you making, if you don't mind? About 200. A year? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yeah. That's a person who's like, who's just like, who's just like, who's just like, who's Chai, guys, the wall is wicked. Hey! Make it $200,000. $200,000 making every year. $200,000. At the end of the day, you are nothing. You lost everything. You went to the U.S. to make it. Now you went back to Africa and everything was lost. Tell your wife. You, I don't want to play the video, guys. You, if you see this video online, please kindly watch it. You will understand. But one thing I have to tell you guys in this video is that Yes, he married Muzungu and this is what happened. But it's not all, even a, 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 it's not Muzungu. It's just that if God has not blessed you with the real partner, hey, in fact, heaven is your name. <laughs> See, I know a lot of black women that the men have brought even to Europe. They are sending the men out. They are calling police on the men. And this is exactly what this Muzungu did to this man. This Muzungu saw that this man, there are some potentials that she will never make it in her life. She carried this man, married the man. And what did she do? After the man gave the children, she used her child to finish the husband. Now this guy left back to Kenya, no, the ch no children, no wife, no money, no house, nothing, no job. How is he going to go and start from the beginning in Africa? If you are choosing a wife, <laughs> if you are choosing a husband, choose the right one. Whether it's Muzungu or not Muzungu, I'm telling you, in this case, it's not just because you marry Muzungu. There are a lot of people that don't marry Muzungu, but they still have the same problem. That is how they deal with people in this diaspora. Especially sometimes I used to pity the men. The men used to suffer it. If anything happened to him like this now, guys, you will see. The woman already has called and they lost a lot, favor a lot of women. I pity men. We need to pity men. And if you are a woman, you don't want your husband. Especially you have children with this man if you don't want. Just go in peace. Nobody force you. Look at this guy. He said that even the family of this woman, they came and built house very close to them. He talked a lot in that video. He said even when the children, that is why his children even go against him. When the children come like this to ask him to buy maybe a bike for $2,000, he will tell the children, even though they have the money, he will say no, that is too expensive, you know. Like a father trying to train his children. When he refused to buy the bike like this, they will just go to the grandparents, the next place. They will come back with a bike of that $2,000. So you see, they connive and spoil even his own children against him. This man, I really pity him. He said even the law, even in the court, even in the court, what happened to him? All the judges, the lawyers, they were Muzungus. So all of them, he was even surprised to say that even his own lawyer was like in some certain time, not for him. He said all the lawyers, when he went there, all of them were Muzungu and they were backing this woman. He was talking that is how the law in the U.S. is. And the, the, the money that he was saving in other accounts, the wife has already taken all those things with her son from his computer and gave it to the state. The next minute, this man could not withdraw even one cent from his account. The next minute, everything was freeze. They freeze all his account. Because they were afraid he would take everything. Now, they send him a lot of money to pay because the child was in two months to be 18 years old. They send him a lot of money to pay for that two months, uh, child, child support. This guy said that he was giving the woman every month $10,000. And then he was tired, he was depressed. He left the job. The judges told him that you have a good job, you have a good, um, like, uh, 
you you have the capacity to get a good job go back and look for a job he became so depressed in the u.s that he has to go back to kenya when he went back to kenya he was doing you know he was working from home from kenya but the bank along the way told him that remotely he cannot work like this for a long time they gave him certain time he has to go back to the u.s to go and work how do you go back to the u.s to go and face this woman go and face this challenge even the mother have said it that was the one who trained their children who was staying home he brought the mother from africa take care of their children this muzungu woman she he said that there's this kenyan food the mother used to love like this and will be will cook that food for him and they use egg to cook that food if the muzungu woman buy eggs she knows that the mother will use it to cook that for you she will just boil the whole eggs <laughs> And he said that the Muzungu woman will cook like this. They are doing, they are working together in home office. Before you know it, the Muzungu will cook food. She will not even give him the food. Hey! I said, one that shall never end in this world. It's not only in the Yabohanze. The whole world, one that shall never end. So I begin, I understand with him because this man continued to ask him, why on earth did he even go? Why on earth was he afraid? Like, to react when the woman was spending a lot of money, spending his money anyhow. I understood that because of he was the paper. He didn't get, he has not gotten the full stay, the full papers that he is to stay like in the U.S. Anything, if he mess up, the woman will call the police. Before you know it, they have deported him back. So he tolerated a lot. He is the one working. No, you see, he said he hardly, he hardly have time to rest. When he goes to work like this, the woman is the one spending the money. <laughs> the woman is the one paying all the bills, doing everything, and they had joint account. When this woman served him the divorce paper, before he opened his eyes, the woman had taken like $40,000 out of the account. He went there, there was nothing. Anyway, guys, if you want to watch this video in full details and really enjoy it, it's best when you go and watch that video yourself is if you just open youtube you will see that video is everywhere anyway guys it's me daughter of the soil that is what i have for you today if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe and if you have not liked the video kindly like the video and we'll go ahead ahead thank you so much for always coming new subscribers you are welcome to my channel and the old lazy members thank you and thank you for everything i appreciate you guys and i love you from the depths of my heart We'll surely see you again tomorrow in another video. Sad day. I hope you are preparing to enjoy your weekend. Bamba to bamba. <laughs> it's me, daughter of the soil. Bye bye. Why don't we go figure it? Yeah, 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 yeah.